Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new start. Um, yeah, we're in a jungle. Oh, let's, not, let's not fall down too much. Um, doop, doop, doop. So yeah, so we're here now with Feed the Beast Horizons, which is a look at a whole different bunch of mods than we're used to. And yeah, so I think... Um, going to take a look at this, the idea being that it's got some things in it that we haven't seen before. Um, hopefully. So I'm just going to kind of try and get somewhere. Oh, Ooh, you're going to get away from him. Hopefully he doesn't come in the water. Oh, no, he does. Let's fight him with a book. Lousy spitter. I didn't know they could swim. But let's get him dealt with, and then we'll carry on with the introduction. Oh, he's gone away. Well done. Nice choice. Let's let's leave him be for the time being. So yeah, so we've got a whole bunch of different mods that we're going to start looking into. Um, things like Rotary Craft, Remote I.O., Ars Magica, Ganny's, Witchery... Engineers Toolbox, Magic Crops and Agriculture, of, of the ones that I've noticed that kind of look interesting to me. So maybe you guys will see ones that um, look interesting to you. So, are these trees? Yep, yeah, they are trees. Well, kind of bush trees. Hee <laughs> hee. So, where are we? Oh, got trees with crops on them as well, which is nice. Um. drum. Hmm, I don't know. And we've got plenty of raspberries by the looks of it. Yep, raspberries. Excellent. So yeah, so I'm back to using Sortex. Uh, they've got a nice little downloader module thingy that allows you to um, basically select what it is you want to um, basically the mod packs, mods that you've got in the pack, and then it generates um, a generates a what, what do you want to flip for it? generates a zip file for it. That's the word. So you get your resource pack from all of that. So that should... We need a few more of those just to kind of start to get our rudimentary tools so we can start to get into the side of that hill. Start to build a base of operations up. Um, it's just a shame. Well, we could go and target the trees in the forest, but those those two huge trees, they're just beautiful. So I don't... Well, plus they'd like... I think they'd take 300 million years to actually chop them down. So, let's get ourselves a little bit established for a start. And boop. Nice and easy. So. Okay. I suppose that's fairly easy. And yeah. Why do mod packs always do this? Whenever you go in, they're always in cheat mode by default. There we go. That's better. I don't like them being in cheat mode. It doesn't work very well for me. Okay, so let's get in here. So I think we'll have the entrance way. That's going to be here, isn't it, really? So let's go down a level into the place. Then we can start to kind of get some of this limestone. Um, just hollow out something. Um, do we have enough wood to kind of make some and things, not really. 
I don't want to chop down any of these ones with crops on, though. Because I think that would be a bit silly. So we're limited to the ones that have just got one... Oops. Fell down there. There's a hole there, just in case you didn't realise. So the race is going to be to get wood before we... kind of, Or enough wood before we get to night time. Such that we can protect our little hole as it were. So yeah. So yeah, so it's like I said, Horizon's back. I'm starting on a particular version. Um starting on one zero ten. Um because I think there's been some changes to the world generation after that. And yeah. So we'll see how we go. Um but we seem to have a pretty good seed here. So I'm happy with that. We've got plenty of bluebells, so I'll feel right at home. In fact, yeah, let's not let's not decorate the place before we've even built it. Um, do, 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 do. Let's smash this down. Get it inside. Okay. Doop and. Well, let's get a door first. There we go. Wunderbar, we have a door. First step towards security. We have enough wood that we can get some torches as well, so we can concentrate on what we're doing in here for a minute. So yeah, so this is not the most thrilling, but it is the start of what we're going to do. So in order to make it as not boring as possible as a series, um, in between now and episode two, we're going to have a live stream, which will be on Sunday. So the first Sunday in March of 2014. Um, for, that's just in case people are watching this like three years from now. Um, so I have a live stream, and on that live stream I'm just going to basically be chatting, gathering resources, and doing the boring stuff. So you guys can watch along if you like, or you can skip it and be perfectly okay, because all I'll have done is just some stuff gathering. So let's get that there. Let's get one of those, so we can get some more of that. So yeah. So we've got uh, Tinker's Construct to build stuff with as well. Let's get some basic stone tools as well, I think. Because the wooden ones won't last very long. So I think what we're going to concentrate on at the moment is going to be gathering... Let's go and gather some more wood, I think. We're going to be mostly gathering wood at the minute and gathering what we can outside, so foraging and stuff. Primarily, because that's what we need right now. I'm going to leave kind of the mining until, or most of the mining until we do the live stream. Doop. And doop. So. You'll notice, for some reason, I think this is alternate, well, this is alternate terrain generation, I know that much, but um, I don't know if it's alternate terrain generation that means that we've got the jungle wood coming from uh, these bushes where we've got uh, spruce leaves. So we're getting spruce saplings, even though the trunk of the tree is actually jungle. It's very interesting. Um, well, maybe it's not that interesting, but I find it interesting. So, a oh, little bit of block lag there. So yeah, um, where's the sun? Oh, sun must be getting ready to go down. We'll plant some more trees. Um, 
we want to kind of be able to cook up some stone because I think we need going to need some cooked stone to make full use of the food resources that we're gathering. So yeah, that's so also going to try and make a concerted effort to not um, to do more farming and to not kill the animals unless I absolutely need to. Um, so they're not wearing silly hats, so I don't have that excuse. Um, so yeah, so we'll we'll see how we go with that. So that's not quite. Um, let's do that. How about that? Okay, so we can now. There we go. So we'll get some charcoal, get some torches going, all of the usual stuff. So we don't have a bed yet. So oh, look, there's cherries. I think cherries. What? Well, it still says drum. What does that? Ah, you don't right click, you left click. And it is indeed cherries. It's exactly what it looks like. That's always helpful. So, let's build a chest so we can start to squirrel away resources as we need to. Uh, where do we want to put it? We'll put it there for now. So, one, two, two. So actually we wanted to cook some stone as well, whilst we've still got some power in the furnace, as it were. Um, because, and I need to remember the recipe, I'm fairly sure we want a juicer. So we want stone and a pressure plate. So we want stone. Can I make a pressure plate out of that? It has to be stone stone, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay. So. Hmm. Let's use one of those. And let's just cook up a bunch of stone for now. Uh, let's dig into here make a room. So this will be like the hallway. I'm going to make a little bit of a residence here. Because we can. Until this pickaxe dies. But, yeah. Nevertheless, it will be another room. I will probably going to let raise the ceilings at some point when I get there. So that's that looks like a nice little bedroom. So we'll go this side. Oopsie. So that's smashed that. Have we now got we've now got enough stone? So we've got pressure plate and that. Oh, they have to be in the middle. Then we've got a juicer. Yay! So we want some stuff for seeds. Now we have some food. It's interesting how we're eating it rather than supping it as juice, but never mind. Um, da -da 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 -da. We want it also, to start making some stone tools, so we'll make that, that, and that. Then when we go outside in a little while, once it's all settled down and it's not night time anymore, we'll be able to, oh I didn't make a sword, oh well. So this room's going to open up a little bit differently. And it's just going to be kind of an antechamber going into 
a mine. Which, like I said, I'm not going to necessarily start to construct now. But I'm just going to kind of lay out the... That's where the entrance is. So the rest of that will come when we get there. Doop. That'll do. So what are all these things doing out there? Is it daytime yet? Please! No, it won't be. We've got at least... We're only halfway through the night, so we want those two to be made into seeds, ready to plant. I think we'll have um, one blueberry seed. The rest is juice, please. Um, we'll have that, like that. I suppose we could have cherry juice. Can we have cherry juice, do you think? Ah, yes we can. Excellent. So we'll be well well in with the juice. So we're going to have two strawberry seeds, because I do like strawberries. So we've got strawberries and raspberries, nice and strong. But now we need, we kind of need wood to build stuff, don't we? But I'm not going out there just yet. And I don't have a bed, so I can't sleep yet. So shall we kind of start to expand this. Maybe we could make a storage room for all the wonderful loot that we're going to bring back. So, um, I'm turning around there. Uh, so, bedroom, entrance to mine. Yeah, let's just keep going back. I will eventually build a proper house above ground, but I think we're going to be here for just a while. So we're just going to continue to make the best of it. You'll notice there's no mini-map. Um, the reason for that is because I'm actually uh, playing with a new kind of mapping mod. And if I press, I think it's J? There it is. So this is the journey map. So you can see what's going on. You can actually although you can see in the underground, you should only kind of see what you're exploring. So it looks kind of cool. So, and if I kind of to turn around, it should, if I do the, <laughs> yeah, you can see I'm turning facing the different direction. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, I haven't experimented much with it. I'm hoping that it will be, I think um, as, 1013 is out, I think there's an improvement to it in that you actually get to see a mini map as well. Uh, so let's, uh, we'll keep our eyes open for that. Um, so that's. That. Go away. I'm not, not having it. Not, not buying. Sorry. So we've got one, two, so that's there, so we want to then go th there. That'll be our storage room. So we want to go up one. Well, it'll initially be our storage room. So. Shall I try and beat him up with some cobblestone? Should we let him in? Yeah, lots of insane clicking. See, that's what you get. Oh, not you, creeper. I don't want to talk to you. Now you're right outside the door. And it's daytime, so I would actually be able to do something except for the fact that you're there. Stinky creepers. Well, hopefully he'll despawn soon enough. So, did I put a... Um, a torch outside? Right, I'm going to run away. Just in case the creeper's still there. Um, he's not, but this skelly bobble is.
Oh, no, the creeper's there as well. Whoop. Run away. Let's see if I can bait him out from shade. Where'd the creeper go? Now, oh, the creeper's gone that side, so... Let's see if I can take out the skelly bubble. Oh, no, there's a creeper there. I don't want to die. Leave me alone. How rude are you people? Um, let's go and find some wood, because then we can make a sword. Maybe. Well, we need to get back to the house, but... We can make a sword. What's down here? Ooh! Is that banana tree? Yep, it's a banana. Okay, so let's see if I can take that skelly bubble out. Because I know he's... Should be here. He's gone now. Okay. Okay, let's get inside. Let's get a sword before we go too much further. In fact, let's get two swords. Madame, two swords. Yeah, that wasn't funny. I know. Um, right, so let's. Okay, where's Hisboom? Hisboom, where are you? I want you to. I want you to die so that I know I'm safe out here. Ish. Okay, so... Doop! So we can see your health. Doop! Doop! One more. Doop! There you go, you're dead. Uh, creeper holes. Let's fill it in. I know this is... Well, this is part of it. We should respect the landscape, really. So, if only the creepers did, but there you go. Here's Rishin. Ha 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 ha. So, if in the mod pack there's anything you guys particularly want to see that I haven't mentioned in the list of mods that I'm kind of in interested in, then feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm, I am interested, I'm just wanting to explore these new things. Um, yeah. And that's pretty much what we're doing. Let's go and see what other kinds of... Ah! Is that a, is that a magical das pomegranate tree? And what's over here? What are these? Oh, wild grapes. Interesting. So... And is this a magical das pomegranate tree? Yes, it is, I think. It says drum, but then again, the cherries said drum, so... Not inclined to believe that was this. What was that? Walnuts, okay. And that's... Rutabaga. So, yeah, so... There's going to be more foraging... Have a look out the other side. Oh, more cherries are ready. Oh, avocados. Blackberries. We've got a wealth of um, food around us. More. Um, what's this? I've got a full inventory already. Jeez. Let's go and get rid of something then. How can I already have a full inventory? Well, yeah, the answer to that is very simple, I know. Because you filled it up. Um, I didn't remember picking up irises. Uh, da, 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 da. And we probably don't need all that cobblestone either. So let's go and pick up that stuff, what it was, and figure out what it was. Oh, before we do that, let's 
strategically place the bluebells. <laughs> There's always time for decoration, apparently. So what, it was up here, wasn't it? Yeah, that's where it is. Oh, it's a lime. Wow. So there's lots of different um, stuff here. More of more bananas, and is this? Well, if we've got limes, is this lemons? Uh, um, no, they're not. You apparently you can. I think you can tell if they're ready to pick by right clicking, and then if you get a love heart, you can pick them. So what's up here? Did that just give me a love heart? Yes, it did. What's that then? Oh, vanilla beans. There we go. So, yeah. Lots more to explore. What's this? That looks like coal. It is coal. That's why it looks like it. Ha ha beneficial. Just lying on the surface. Oh, and wild cotton. Excellent. Ooh. Looks like we've got plenty of places to explore. I'm going to kind of stick closer to home for the moment. Just simply, well, simply because we don't have anything... Is that Candlebury? Yeah. We don't have anything much that we can do. Well, we haven't got any waypoints because um, we don't have that facility yet. We... What's this? <gasps> wow, rhubarb! Rhubarb! It has to be done lovely lovely rhubarb yep you guys are gonna kind of get fed up of it but yeah we're gonna be making as much as we possibly can with rhubarb um just simply because reasons so yeah <laughs> so i'm not too sure about all the flowers yet um but we'll forage as much berries and food as we can. We'll leave the jungle alone for the time being. And obviously when we do the live stream we'll be able to kind of get buckets and we'll be able to set up a farm area in hopefully next episode because we'll have the stuff for that. Oh, salt ore. Interestings. That's clay as we'd expect it to be. Get another of these wonderful eggs. So yeah. Oh, what's that up there? Not up there. Up, up there. Looks like we've got... Um, yeah. That looks like either snow or sand. But it's the block, it's not on top of it, so it must be sand. So do we have a desert nearby as well? That might come in handy. that might come in. Oh, look at those, let's say, huge, ginormous trees. I'm, let's say, that must be the, A I'm guessing that's the ATG alternate terrain generation, but um, we've got some interesting water there. Figure out what that is. So yeah, so we have a lot to figure out. We've been mostly foraging to kind of stop ourselves starving this first episode, which... Hmm, starving on the first episode, not a clever idea. So... Oh, and we've got another sapling there. I love how I'm kind of chopping down trees with a banana. You didn't you didn't know how, how strong these bananas were, did you? You really didn't. But, um, yeah, so that is the commencement. We have our little hut in the ground, as it were. We've got a bedroom ready to kind of get a bed in it, so like I said, with the mining we should get some, hopefully, some iron. We can go out, try and find some sheep somewhere around here. 
maybe go up in the hills. Um, so maybe next episode we'll be going up in the hills, um, finding some sheep to shear, and um, setting up a farm. So uh, in between now and then, they'll like I say there'll be the live stream. So tune in. It will be on the Tebby Bear Broadcasting Twitch channel. So if you haven't already got the link for that, it'll be in the description of this episode. And yeah, so I'll either see you Sunday or see you next week for another episode of Feed the Beast Horizons. Take care, folks. Thank you.